This is the Alabama Blues Brothers, and you're watching One Groovy Planet. I'm Lou Tutan and we're here in Mayfield speaking with America's Got Talent winner Kevin Skinner and I know it has been a very busy time for you Kevin has what has it been like the last oh what six months a year or so since you won the, the uh, contest uh, well it's it's kind of been a roller coaster ride for me you know there's a lot of things that's happened that I never did you know expect to happen and uh, I guess you could just say it's like uh, living your dream, you know. Yeah, well, you know that's one thing I wanted to ask you when you when you first went for the audition. Um, in your wildest dreams, did you think it could ever turn out like it did? Well, you know, you you really never know unless you try. And uh, I had a lot of. I've always played music, and uh, I've always been a songwriter, and and I thought. What the heck? You know, give it, give it a shot and see. Because if if I don't, you know, years later down the road, I might have wondered, you know, what would have happened. That's and uh, and you know, so uh, I guess that's what pushed me into doing it. And now I'm, you know, fortunate and glad that I did. Now, after you won the contest, what kinds of things happened that just really kind of blew your mind? I mean, did you have like people coming out of the woodwork? Did you have people trying to give you this advice or that advice? Oh sure, oh sure. Yeah, I had, I had a lot of people, you know, that. Uh, that like you said it would give me you know give me advice and uh, and uh, but I've, I've been fortunate enough to you know uh, to, to do some big shows and uh, and that's you know that's just God's blessing and uh, and I'm hope, hoping that that will continue and uh, just looking forward to to a good career what's the what's the, the best show you think you've done so I mean the, the biggest show that you think you've done so far uh, that's a tough one uh, but I'd probably say between uh, the Connecticut Foxwood MGM Connecticut and uh, and some of the Harris Harris and Planet Hollywood. Them has been some of the big the big the big ones. Now you've been opening for a lot of big stars and, and working alongside a lot of big stars. Have you gotten to, to meet any of your heroes along the way? Uh, I got a chance to meet Willie Nelson, and uh, he's always been a, a, a just a a person that I've always kind of. It, it, you know looked up to uh, and it was more it was really an honor to get to meet him and uh, and uh, he I couldn't say uh, you know I couldn't say anything he's just a, he's the best easiest going guy that you would ever want to meet and you know that's a it was an honor to, honor for me to meet him and uh, so I'm so I'm glad I got to got the chance to meet him what well, is there has there been any downsides since you've won downsides of things you go well I really have had a hard time dealing with this. What would that be? Oh, uh, you know, really, uh, I know it may sound strange, but really, there's nothing, nothing that's really been uh, negative about it. You know, it's all, all, all everything that I've been experienced. You know, I've experienced has been good. So as as long as that that keeps going, that'd be great. <laughs> you know. When all of this hit, and all of a sudden you've got all these demands on your time, you got all these requests for shows and everything, and I know probably one of the things that you may have wanted to do at that point was because, you know, I better take a minute, I, I better get me a team together sure. of people I can trust. Sure. What was that like? Well, it's kind of like a you, 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 like you said a while ago. You get a lot of advice and. Uh, I guess it's really a, a, a feeling that you have, uh, kind of in, kind of a, a gut feeling. You know, you uh, it's kind of like if you go to buy a car. You know, when you look at the car, and, and you can tell that the cars hadn't been taken care of. That you used car, they're asking too much for. You know, so I mean, uh, it's really just a gut feeling, and, and you can kind of feel feel people, the you know, feel your team out. And uh, of course, it takes a little time to think about it, but. Uh, I believe I believe in anybody that was in that situation, you know, if uh, if they if they take time to think it through, I think they'll make the right choice. Yeah. Where do you hope this goes from here? 
I, I try not to set any boundaries. Uh, I just like to. Uh, I, I like to. I'm a songwriter, uh, and, I, and I like to uh, write real, real music. You know, and I believe that people like to hear real music because they, re, you know, they relate to it. And uh, as long as I can keep writing, and the good Lord blesses me, you know, to write, uh, I, I don't see. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I, like I say, I don't put any boundaries on that, and hopefully, I, if, if I'm blessed, I can keep doing it for years to come. Well, now, now what? It, I know you've written a lot of songs. What, what do you have like a, any kind of a process for writing a song? Not at all. Uh, my best songs come uh, when I'm least expecting it, uh, and they just happen. You know, it's just like one of them things. Uh, if you know, I, I've. I've told people before, you know, if you sit down and you and you think, well, today's Tuesday, I'm gonna write a song. It don't work that way. You know, most of the time you wind up wadding the paper up and throwing it in the trash can. You know, so I mean, uh, really, my best songs come to me just in and I have them written within seven to ten minutes, and then those are usually the, the songs that people like to hear. And, and you know, and I'll tell you, that I'm exactly the same way. And and, I, and you can't explain it to people. I said some of the best songs I wrote were most of them were either driving down the road right. or sitting on a lawnmower. Exactly. And <laughs> and it was like, uh, what was it uh, Reverend Gary Davis used to say? He, said, he never said he wrote a song. He said, the good Lord gave me this song. That's a very and, good and it, way. And it's, it's kind of like that. That's a very it? good way to put it. That, that, that's, that's very true. Uh, you've got the new CD out. I know you're very happy with it. How has the been reception to it so far? Uh, you mean, uh, the, the, well, the people, you know, everybody seems to uh, enjoy every song, on, you know, on the CD. Uh, I, I believe, you know, I hear hear, hear folks say uh, they can't really make up their mind which song they like the best. So when I think, well, that's a good thing. You know, most time when you buy a CD, usually it's for uh, just one or two songs. Yeah. And you, you know, and I, I mean, uh, it, it, I, I'm just really, I feel really blessed. I want to thank the good Lord for, for giving me the talent to, 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 do, to be able to do that. And as long as, you know, as long as I can keep writing real music, I, I believe I, I, I believe I can be successful. Yeah. How was it in the studio? I mean, was it, was it easier than you thought or harder than you thought? Uh, it, it was a snap. Uh, you know, we went in, had it done two days. So, now, where did you do it down in Nashville? Mm -hmm. And you have you worked with some of the Nashville cats down mm -hmm. there. Yeah, it is pretty much a snap for those yeah, guys. It is, yeah, it is a snap. <laughs> well, you know, and it's also it also helps if you, if you know your material. Yeah. You know, and they, and they and a lot of them told me that they said you know you come in and you knew what you wanted to do and you did it. And uh, they say sometimes you know people come in and and uh, they don't always work that way and you wind up spending four, five, six days. And you know, uh, it's 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 easier for them to have somebody come in that knows what they want to do and just do it. Oh yeah. Know? So uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. Now, now one thing people say they go, you know, I wonder if I wonder if uh, Kevin's going to move off from from Graves County. Oh no, <laughs> no. I, I was all, I've been raised here ever since I was, you know, knee high and. Uh, uh, I couldn't see myself uh, uh, moving away. Uh, I got too many. Uh, my roots are here, and uh, you know my family, my friends, and, and uh, no matter uh, how much money you make off 10, 15 CDs, you know you can't trade that for your friends and your family. So uh, I believe I'll be I'll be staying here. 